Russian mistake. Ukraine celebrates big victory as Putin's armored convoy is crushed in raid. The Russian military has continued to push ahead with its attack on Kiev after a large armored headquarters was slowed down by malfunctions and attacks. To combat the lull in their attack, Russian intelligence proposed a change of tactical. A column of armored vehicles is heavily attacked by anti-tank artillery as Ukraine defends against Russian aggression. However, a video posted on Twitter shows what appears to be a Russian column being heavily attacked by Ukrainian forces. Russian forces also went up in smoke as they faced a staunch Ukrainian defense. The clip shows a convoy of armored vehicles being ambushed and severely damaged. Evidence points to the Brovary region, northeast of Kiev. Tactics are very poor as this Russian armored unit performs very close to Kiev, said doctoral candidate in war studies Rob Lee. Russian troops are said to be encircling Ukraine and surrounding it to force Ukraine to surrender. However, they chose to cluster in this way, leaving themselves vulnerable to indirect fire from Ukrainian artillery in Kiev. After several days of logistical problems and solid defenses, Russian tanks began marching to Kiev. The sad thing is that most of the Russian military is deceived by Putin and doesn't want to be there. This is a war caused by Putin. No one else wants it. The solution is to get rid of Putin. Interior Ministry advisor Vadim Denisenko said that Russian troops had invaded the western city of Irpin, but the Ukrainian army had counterattacked. The night was difficult, but we can confirm that the Ukrainian army counterattacked near Kiev, he said. No further details are available. Defense Secretary Ben Wallace said Britain would increase humanitarian assistance to Ukraine and could send more anti-aircraft missiles. It said that Russian air activity over Ukraine has decreased significantly in recent days, perhaps due to the unexpected effectiveness and durability of the Ukrainian air defense forces. Russian military strategists believe that Russia is trying to capture Mariupol to build a wide land bridge to the east. President Putin will have to recruit from across the Russian armed forces and other sources as casualties escalate. Mariupol was subjected to an all-out attack targeting a maternity facility. 3. Several people, including a child, were killed in the strike. Despite the denials, the Kremlin was forced to apologize for using conscripts in Ukraine. Putin told the Russians that no conscripts were used in Ukraine's special operation. On Wednesday, Igor Konoshenkov, a spokesman for the Russian Defense Ministry, acknowledged the presence of conscripts. Unfortunately, we have discovered many examples of conscripts in Russian battalions participating in the special military operation in Ukraine, he said. I understand your concern for your loved ones, Putin told Reuters. I emphasize that conscription soldiers do not and will not participate in conflicts. No more reservations will be called. With this heavy defeat, it was a blow to Putin's ambition to win quickly to dominate the negotiating table. This is a great victory for the Ukrainian army. Putin's troops go home, that's what the Ukrainian soldiers said to the Russian army. May peace come soon.